Hello, this is my tutorial. I'm LJ1993 and it's my first tutorial and it's on how to make some cool navigation buttons for our websites in Adobe Photoshop. Ideally CS2 because that's the one that's the version I'm using. So if you go to file and then you change the width to 150 and change the height to 45. Make sure the color modes RGB color, and whatever the highest is there, 16 bit. Make sure it's in pixels, not centimeters or whatever. And just call it like a button or whatever. And you can save that preset if you like. For like, I'll call it website button. So then you can go to preset and see it there. So you don't have to type in the width height again. Then click OK and you've got this. <coughs> right, well, I haven't done much colour in my other ones. Uh, perhaps I should show you them. This is them here. I'll be slideshow. So that's the contact us. Let's download home page. Join us. This is like for our gaming clan website. Latest news, links, members, servers, tutorials. Oh, and that's it back to the beginning. I think. Yeah. Okay. So you get the general idea of what I'm trying to create. I hope you like them because that's what I'll be going with for this design. So if you go to this button here. I've, I'm not sure what it's called. Yeah, gradient tool. I think. Yeah, it's the paint bucket tool. But if you just change it to gradient tool, and I'm just gonna go for black. And if you get the little cursor to just go right at the corner, top left corner of the screen, and drag down to the bottom right, you get that sort of gradient effect. So then you can start adding images. So go to file and then place. And uh, I'll just go to. Oops, shit. Um, documents and pictures. So I've got all these pictures. I'll just go for a random one. This takes my fancy. So just can like drag it there, and you could resize it and everything. And then if you just press the tick up there, and you've got it there. Okay, that looks a bit naff because it just ends and it doesn't, you know, go into the effect. So this one's going to be quite crap. And get the text tool. If you want it to look like mine, go for the font copper, pa copper plate gothic bold. And then just drag anywhere. I'm going to go for text at the bottom. Then make sure caps lock is on. And I'll do home page. So you just type home. And then press the tick best I think if you leave it in black because then it blends in with this design but if obviously if you're using um, blue for the gradient and you have a blue image there then you'll maybe want black or or blue for your text color okay so that's just a basic one done and then if you just click save as just save it as button one or you can save it as home Oops. and save it as a photoshop psd first and save it to your desktop that's just so you can edit it later that could be like the default one then you save as again but this time save it as a png or jpeg it doesn't matter which it will automatically save it to home copy dot png so if you just delete that the program doesn't really care because even though they're the same names they're like different file formats 
So just click save and just click OK there. Minimize and you've got it on your desktop. And thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you like it. And I hope